Station HQ. Hey, I'm Zoe. I'm TJ. And this is Coast Kids Online. Alright astronauts, it's time to cross over to Steve and Lacey's YouTube channel. Our weekly challenge is up next. Hi, my name's Steve and this is my YouTube channel, your one-stop shop to find all the answers. If you don't know how something works, just ask Steve. So buckle up, bloggers, it's time for story time with Steve. <coughs> Yummy. Steve, could you please be a little bit quieter? I am trying to study over here. Lacey. <coughs> Miss Honey! Yes, Lacey? Steve is chewing too loudly. Steve, you know the rules. No eating in the library. Um, sorry Miss Honey. When I get hungry, I have to eat really quickly. Otherwise, I get hangry. Do you know what hangry means, Miss Honey? Hangry is when you're really hungry and that makes you angry. So then you're hungry and angry. So you're hangry. Yes, I am aware, Steve. Hangry isn't a word, Steve. Actually, Lacey, it is. It became an official word in the Oxford Dictionary in February 2018. See here. Do you know what a dictionary is, Lacey? Yes, I do. Impressive. Most people have forgotten about dictionaries due to the excessive use of the internet nowadays. Be nice to one another, you two. Now carry on with your work quietly. Dear Steve, I go to church every Sunday. At my church, they talk about someone called God a lot. I have no idea who he is. When I think about God, I think about some invisible force in the sky moving furniture when it thunders. But that doesn't sound right to me. Can you explain God to me, Steve? I'm so confused. Susanna, Texas. Well, Susanna, that is a tricky question. Just kidding. God is actually very simple to explain. Let's have a look at what the Oxford Dictionary tells us about God. Here we go. God is the creator of the universe and supreme being. Supreme means one who has the highest power. Let's break that down. Do you know the Queen of England? I know she looks really old. She also loves corgi dogs. Hashtag cute. Basically, you could say that the Queen is the supreme member of the United Kingdom because she has the highest power of the kingdom. The Bible tells us that God is our creator. He created everything that you see on this earth. The stars, the moon, the trees, the birds, the mountains. In fact, God even created us. Isn't that amazing? But God is way more powerful than the Queen. He's like super duper powerful the king of all kings. He is the most powerful person in the whole world. His words created us. He said, let there be light, and there was. When I think about God, I think about the king of kings. I follow what he says because he knows what is best for me. After all, he did create me. But I also think of the perfect, loving father. He listens to us. He protects us, even if we can't see him and he never stops loving us. In fact, God is many things. How about when you're back at church this weekend, you ask your kids leader to tell you about God. I reckon they'll make it super easy for you to understand. What you doing, Steve? Nothing, Lacey, nothing at all. In fact, I'm doing something very boring right now. Hmm, Miss Honey. Hey guys, before we kick off into our weekly challenge, I have a special new segment I'd like to share with you. We're gonna be doing a new segment right here where you guys can send in videos of what you've been up to during the week. Maybe it's you've learned how to ride a bike or you've learned a special new skill, or maybe you are going back to school and wanna share a bit about what that's like for you. I can't wait to see your videos and what you've been up to, and it will be awesome for you guys to see your friends and what they've been up to while we can't see each other in person yet. To kick off this week, I'd like to share a little story of what's been happening in one of our Coast Kids lives. Many of you would know Mayor Pell, 
She is an awesome girl in our Hammerheads group. Last weekend, Maya was doing some gymnastics in her backyard and she actually ended up breaking her arm and having to go to hospital. She's got a big cast on her arm now, but she's feeling a lot better. And I know that she would really love your prayers and support. I would like to um, share some special video messages that some of her friends have done. So enjoy. Hey Maya, it's Tori. I'm really sorry to hear that you break your arm. You break your arm. We're praying. We love you. I'm sure you'll be flipping in no time. We hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi Maya. Hope you feel better soon. Miss you. Bye. Hi Maya. I hope you feel better soon. I hope your arm is in too much pain. Um, I miss you and bye. Hi Maya, I heard you broke your arm. I'm really sorry and I hope it heals soon. I can't wait to see you when we get back to church. Bye! bye. was that video let's blast off to the challenge of the week hey guys welcome to this week's weekly challenge today the challenge is the cutest pet challenge as you can see here I've got Zeffy my nine month old mini Groodle and I think she's super cute but I want you to send in your pet and if you don't have a pet send in a photo of your dream pet um, and the first person who sends in their weekly challenge this week will get a personally delivered prize by me next week. All right, guys, can't wait to see your videos and photos. Bye. Unfortunately, our time at Coast Kids Online is coming to an end. Don't forget to send in your weekly challenge videos. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, astronauts, we're over and out. Bye. Bye.